It was 10 years ago, we went to Somerset. With purchasing Dursley Farm, and we first thought we were renovating at the farm for a summer house, then to add maybe an exhibition space, and then it unfolded. The restaurant, the garden, the farmhouse. The project, which took four years, we decided to then move the entire family. We have four children, three boys, a daughter. We have six dogs here. A farm. working farm with, uh, with pigs, goats, cattle and sheep and chicken. Bruton was a kind of sad place. This is, is an art centre. In two and a half years we've had four, over 400,000 visitors. We thought contemporary art for this rural area is such a foreign, strange concept. The garden was our bait. We caught people. I think it's four acres. It's actually different. There's 23,000 different plots in Pitudov. He's probably the world's, you know, famous, well-known uh, landscape architect. In springtime, we have planted thousands of spring uh, flower bulbs. Every week, you, you come and see different flowers blooming. Then you have the, the herbs and the, the, the grasses, and we have all the insects. Yeah, the sound. Attracts. It's the structure of the leaves, it's the transparency of the light. There is beauty even in, in December, like a painting in different mm. browns. They can come for the garden if they have not been to, and they sneak into the gallery. What you see now is a collection of buildings from the 18th century. Trashing barn was a storage facility for hay and... Machinery. Now used for sculpture. We didn't want to fake anything. So everything that is repaired, you can see it. You know, even the plaster, it's very honest. The next building to the right was a stable. We use it mainly for drawings, but then we also had to have proper white cubes. We have a restaurant as well so, next to the gallery. And, and the restaurant was used exactly. as a milking parlor. It's Victoria. We grew up in the countryside. So the passion for farming is in our DNA. When you leave your country, like Switzerland, where you know, we, our families have lived for generations, you know, the mountains and the, the valleys, and you never lose that. But today we would certainly say that our home is here.